Today was a sad day if you're a gamer. I know some of you might not agree with that, especially given the company that we're about to talk about, but the writing is on the wall for physical gaming as a whole, so if you like collecting these things, pay attention. Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and today I've learned that GameStop is apparently in talks for a buyout. Essentially, they are looking for a buyer for their company so they can basically move on, let the stockholders cash out, and go from there. Now, potentially, this could be a good thing. After all, GameStop's been in kind of a slump, their revenues have been slipping, they've had 150 stores closed within the past year or so due to a bad holiday season in 2016 and all kinds of other stuff like that. I completely understand that sometimes changes are needed and in some situations buyouts are necessary in order to accomplish that. But that being said, I think that we're about to encounter something like we saw with Toys R Us. If you remember back in 2005, Toys R Us got sold out to a private equity firm in order to basically restructure the company and make it profitable again but it never happened and the reason why is because that private equity firm was simply there to liquidate and make as much money as possible on that deal they had no interest in maintaining and rebuilding toys r us into a stronger company they only wanted to cash out and essentially because of that we have thousands of people that lost their jobs we have a once great toy company that no longer exists that used to offer all kinds of toys that were exclusive to their stores and so much more. I mean, a lot of good memories happen at stores like Toys R Us and believe it or not, a lot of good memories happen at stores like GameStop. So when I heard the news about this buyout, I was really worried. This made me realize that today, today marks the death of GameStop as we know it, people. Now, I know some of you, of course, are cheering this because GameStop has a bad reputation amongst many in the gaming community. I'm not amongst those people. I've always had a good experience at GameStop, and every time I see people say, oh, their trade value sucks and everything like that, well, maybe if you don't trade in three-year-old copies of Madden or Call of Duty, you'll get good trade value. And even still, I managed to do pretty okay with one of their recent promos, as you can see here. So if you know what you're doing, if you know what to look for, you can get good trade credit at GameStop. And they do often have a lot of promotions. They do sales every week on all kinds of games and accessories and things like that. They also got into the collectible business, which of course was inevitable for them because the decline of physical media in video games is here, it is real. As a matter of fact, it looks like that digital sales are way eclipsing physical at this point. And that's something you really have to consider if you're someone that likes to collect physical video games, like I do, clearly. I mean, when it comes to like PC games, for example, I'm pretty much almost exclusively digital. I rarely ever get a physical PC game anymore. But when it comes to console games, it's a different story. I mean, oftentimes you can still get physical games for cheaper than you can a digital game, as well as having the ability to resell or trade it or, you know, trade it in or whatever, you know, so you actually get a return back on your investment somewhat. That's something you can't do with console games that are digital. Fortunately, you can on Steam, of course. If you got a game that you don't like, you can refund it usually within a couple of days or so. So that's a really nice feature. And until consoles catch up to features like that, I'm definitely on board with physical games as long as I have the actual option to do that. If consoles get to a point where it's almost exclusively digital gaming, but it doesn't offer us the same benefits that we get on Steam, I'm just going to have to become solely a PC gamer, I guess, at that point, at least for newer games. Because the only reason why I adopt and accept digital gaming on Steam is because we do have excellent features that we don't get on consoles. Now that's not to say that's exclusively the case because with the Xbox, for example, we have the Game Pass service, which is an excellent service. I've been enjoying the heck out of it. 
I just recently resubscribed for the $1 a month promotion they had. Been playing the heck out of some City Skylines, just started playing State of Decay 2, bunch of other games. It's an excellent service, and if that's the future of digital gaming for consoles, I'm somewhat on board with that. I think I can live with that personally. But I know some of you out there won't be able to, of course. And that's why it is important to realize that if a leveraged buyout happens to GameStop, which is the same thing that happened to Toys R Us, it will spell a disaster for physical games as we know it. Because realize all the different retailers that sell physical games besides GameStop. We have companies like Walmart, Amazon, Best Buy, Target, those kinds of companies, if physical game sales went away completely, those companies will still be doing just fine. Video games only make up a small portion of those companies' overall revenues. Now GameStop, even though they're getting more into collectibles, gaming is still a big driver for the revenue. And without physical video games, I doubt the company will survive. I just can't see them surviving on collectibles alone. They're definitely going to have to diversify into other fields if they wish to stay alive. And then would they even call themselves GameStop anymore? I mean, if you can't buy games anymore, if you can't stop there to buy games, what would be the point of calling it GameStop? That would be completely silly, right? But that's kind of the future we can expect. And if GameStop falls, well, eventually companies like Walmart, Amazon, Best Buy, they are going to see the writing on the wall for physical games. They will see the declining revenue. They will shrink their store space for those games. And eventually, they'll just get rid of them altogether or make it to where you only buy it online in the case of the retail stores, of course. And eventually, it will all go away. Mom and pop shops that are dedicated to gaming are going to follow because these older game systems, eventually people will lose interest in them. I mean, it wasn't all that long ago that vinyl records were the raving success. Everybody wanted vinyl records. It was, what, a few decades ago? Now, I mean, yeah, they technically have had a resurgence amongst hipsters and whatnot, but for the most part, people don't really care about that kind of stuff. So they are just going to get their music digitally. You know, they don't even buy music digitally anymore. They tend to subscribe to streaming services now or just watch it on YouTube or something like that. Most people don't even bother with paying for music anymore and eventually we'll get to that point with video games you know i imagine that if we keep on going down this path we will eventually get to a future where gaming will almost exclusively be subscription based or free to play type games and i know that a lot of you guys out there don't want that to happen so we have to make sure to do our part to support stores like gamestop even if they're ones that we have had a lot of problems with in the past because let's face it GameStop has done a lot of dumb things in the past even though I've had good experiences at the stores overall a lot of that was incumbent on my knowledge and wisdom with shopping at these stores learning what I have learned in order to make sure that I don't get myself screwed and that being said I know not everybody's gonna have that due diligence so just realize if you like physical games, if you want physical games to stick around, you have to support physical game retailers like companies like GameStop that are actually dedicated to it. And obviously all the smaller retailers out there as well. I mean, without a thriving ecosystem for physical games, companies will eventually stop selling them. We'll eventually get to a point where physical games will get to niche novelties that only hipster collectors are going to be interested in and then everybody else won't really care anymore. That's eventually the future we can expect if GameStop busts. GameStop is one of the only remaining flood walls that we have to preserve physical gaming. As bad as that might sound, I know the odds don't look good, but please, I implore the stockholders, the management, the administration of GameStop. If you're gonna consider a buyout, do not do something like a leverage buyout because all they are going to do is destroy the legacy that you've built for profit. So hopefully you guys consider what I've said. But till then, down Phoenix out.